imagine sitting down for a lovely dinner when you feel a little something on your leg, something shocking and furry? Yes, you are looking at a rat running up a man's leg in a restaurant. Oh my gosh. He was able to remove the rat with the help of the restaurant staff. But crawling up the guy's yeah, leg. Yeah, so, so this incident took place in China, but before you oh. think it couldn't possibly happen here, let's check in with our favorite exterminator, Nick Isaac. Yeah. Nick. Hey. Nick, I, I love having oh. you on the show. But I hate talking about things like this Is because Nick? now. Nita. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what are the probabilities of this happening in my lifetime? Um, it's slim, but it can happen. Um, what that was was a fight or flight, and it saw those pants legs, and it looked like a Tom and Jerry rat hole. <laughs> it looked really, it looked aggressive, but you're saying the rat was just trying to hide, it yeah. was trying to get away. They don't want to come in contact with us because what'll happen to that rat is what's gonna happen, it's gonna get killed. I imagine that rats are much more common in restaurants than we realize, even if they're not crawling up our pant legs. Yeah, they are. Restaurants are high traffic. Uh, you have trash, you have food, all the ingredients, what they need to survive. And also, the, your doors at a restaurant are constantly opening, opening and closing. What is, so what is the best natural habitat then for a rat? Their natural habitat is like ivy, somewhere where they can be protected. We have lots of that in SoCal. Lots of that. They like fruit and ivy. But right. is it because in some of the big cities like New York City, there's just not as much of that, so they end well, up it's, camping out in restaurants? We've, we've built it up we've built the cities up so much. And rats originated from the ocean because they weren't indigenous to America. So these ocean cities are, cities closer to water, or you're gonna have a much greater population. New York, perfect. Um, the, the, the docks, the ships San Francisco. coming in, perfect. Yeah, and so that's how you get the high abundancy of, of rats in inner cities and places like that. So I have a question, like in general, when you go to a restaurant and you know you see the grade on the mm -hmm. window, so if the restaurant has an A, mm -hmm. are you pretty safe? Uh, yes, uh, you're pretty safe. Uh, an A doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have some type of problem. Most restaurants, can they you, have- Can you get an A with rats? Uh, not really. Not, not with rats. And FYI, LA is one of the top 10 rattiest oh, yeah. cities. In mm -hmm. fact, the top 10, Chicago, New York, DC, LA, San Fran, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Minneapolis, Detroit, and Denver. So, I mean, if I was a rat, it. I think I'd hang out here. I mean, it's it's pretty. It is. It, I would. Good pick. So, it's a lot of ivy. A lot of ivy. A lot any, of fruit. A lot of food outside to grub on. Any warning signs when we go to a restaurant? Um, is there any way we can, like, educate ourselves? When you go to a restaurant, the warning signs are actually showing that they're actually trying to do something to prevent them from coming in. For example, bait boxes on the exterior of the building. Those bait boxes are put there to knock the population back to prevent them from coming inside. Also, all restaurants, even if they don't have a grade, they have something from the health department saying if there's a rat problem inside. They have to tell you that that's what's going on. Where do they say that? On the on paper? The door, like on, on the, the, on the so paper. So you have to read the paper, read the paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when they call you. They call me, yeah. Okay. Call, okay. call me. But before, okay. before we go to break, I'm hanging out at dinner, mm -hmm. and I see a rat run across the floor. Can I just finish my dinner and have a good time, or is it one of those, that's a red flag that... That's definitely a red flag. Okay. That's definitely a red flag. Okay. Uh, you want to alert someone that you found something inside, uh, a rat inside the, their establishment, um, because I doubt it, but they might not know. Um, also, it could have just have run in, um, but you want to let someone know. Wonder. And also, if you get bit, if a rat goes up your leg well, and, and scratches and bites he, you. Thank God he stopped at the knee. Could you imagine? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, Nick, we, we always appreciate you coming on and giving us these wonderful tips.